culture. Jesus was implementing the culture. That's what he was doing. Welcome again to you in the Kingdom Culture Center. But I want to, I'm, I'm just so stirred up with this. Everything Jesus did when he was down here, he was implementing the culture, the glory of God on earth. Healing the sick was heaven is the kingdom's culture. And I was fixing to say something earlier in one of the ses sessions that I want you to understand. That he's not going to heal us all the time due to the fact that we have a limit until your purpose is done. We are now teaching and preaching the kingdom. Those of us who are actually doing that. Because we're helping others to prepare. This world will not be as we know it today. When Jesus said heaven and earth will pass away, and before my word will pass away, he meant it will literally. New heaven, new earth. Go in Revelation, check it out, 19 chapter and read it. That's what it's all about. To prepare you, a mindset, a concept. Because in this world, there's so many in, in the world system, there's so many, if so much information, and excuse me, and that's what we have to take it as information. Nothing more. Stick with the word of God. When Jesus, when God said to Hosea, my people perish for the lack of knowledge, it wasn't the knowledge of the world, the knowledge of him. It was the knowledge of him. The lack of knowledge of the word. Knowing how to conduct, how to live. Transformation in the way, not in these books like behind me. This history of this planet. And a lot of it, lot of it isn't true. You have to know who you are in the kingdom. You're a citizen. You're an ambassador. And as an ambassador, you spread the culture of the kingdom. How to live. When you embrace the kingdom, here's the result. You're learning. You get born again. Your spirit is renewed, is restored. But check this out. Your spirit is restored, but you have to go to learn now how to live in this present world. Once you embrace that concept, and this is something that was going on here. Listen what, 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 what Jesus was saying. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tube for four days. Now, we, I've, I've heard so many things about certain things, but I'm going to read a few more scriptures and we'll come back to it. Now, Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed home. Lord, this is what Martha said. Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Listen to what Jesus said, the king. Jesus said to her, your brother will live again. I'm going to repeat that. So I want you to get the message, see what's happening. Your brother will live again. Martha answered, I know he will live, he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus didn't say that. See, we got to know what it is. And many of us out there don't embrace, don't embrace that faith in him. See, you still are balancing trying to juggle two worlds. The natural world and the real world. The real world is the, is the kingdom. The natural world is what, when God spoke, there it was. Yeah, when the Father spoke, he spoke this world into existence. 
He spoke it into existence. He didn't use his hand. He spoke it into existence. Now listen. He goes on to say, and Jesus didn't say that. He would write, that, I know the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. Excuse me. And the life. I am the resurrection and the life. We have to embrace that. He is. He is the whole sun that put light and outshine the shadows. Jesus is the sun. He enlightens us with the word, with his word. When he was down here, he enlightened us. Now he left it down there. We have the word and we speak his word and embrace it. Goes on to say, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live. The one who believes in me will live. Even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Then he asked the question. Do you believe this? This is what he asked Martha. And here's the reply. Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. He still didn't say that. <laughs> Just like us today. Do you believe that God can heal your body? Oh, I know he can. You have to believe it. It's not lip service. It's what you believe in here. If you believe that, the problem is we have allowed so many of information, like these books here that people don't really believe, these religious books. Excuse me. These religious books that have thrown you off. People who had no anointing but had a gift for writing. Jesus said the Holy Spirit, when he comes in the 14th chapter of John, he talks of the Holy Spirit coming, the helper, the comforter. He will guide you and lead you to all truth, but you have to embrace the concept. Embrace him. Embrace the Lord Jesus. Embrace his word. And once you do that and apply it to your life, you'll live it. It will change your life. A drastic change. In a lot of cases, we go on. And I want you to realize now, she never, twice, she never answered the question, but she added. Go on, listen here. 28 verse. After she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Jesus is still spreading the culture. He ain't seen nothing yet. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews heard, when the Jews who had been with Mary and in the house comforting her, Notice her quickly. She got up. Notice how quickly she got up and went out. They followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to moan then. I want you to understand something. The whole time Jesus was here, he never involved in himself into a funeral. He never did. And a lot of things I, I don't participate in with Really, you know, I, I'm not big on funerals. I I preach my mother's funeral, and then at that time I didn't have the, the the mindset of the kingdom, but I knew something wasn't right. I didn't have the concept fully. And this was back in New York, but I want you to understand something. When God sees your beginning and your end, He knows. He knows. That's why abortion is wrong. By the way, that's just one phrase why it's wrong, taking a life. But the point is, even though then, 
even though then, Martha and Mary didn't believe. They had their own level of belief, and we'll discuss that in the next session. Until then. Thank you.